In last tutorial we have seen how to create table and insert values into it. We had inserted three records into a table student. So I have gone ahead and inserted remaining three records as well. So now we have created a table student with these six records. For next few tutorials we are going to see how do we write SQL statements to fetch the data from table. And for that we have taken some examples. So let's go ahead with it. A first example, get names of all students. So here what do we want to display is the names that is A, B, C, P, Q, R, X, Y, Z. The column name for names is S name. So I'll write the query that is select S name from the table name that is student. We'll execute this. Yes, we get S names as A, B, C, P, Q, R till D, F. Next example, we have to get the name and division of all students. So this time what do we want is along with S name that is names, we want to display division. So for in which division a particular student is there. So A, B, C with A, P, Q, R with B. Let's see. So I'll write query for that. That is select S name comma D, I, V from student. Let's execute this. Yes, so we get S name and div. So with these two queries, we came up with a basic syntax for writing a select clause. That is nothing but select, then list of all column names that we want that we want to display. That is, let's say column one, column two and so on up to column n then from the table name the information we want to export from which table okay so if i want to display all the details that is for roll number s name age marks diff then i would have written select roll number comma s name comma age comma marks comma diff Let's take the third example that is get details of all students. This time around I want to display all the details from table. So instead of specifying list of all columns what we can do is we can just write select star from student. What star essentially does is it selects all the columns so we need not specify or list all comma separated columns so star means in this case for table student roll number comma s name comma h comma marks comma div let's execute this command yes we get the desired output we'll go ahead with next example get details of students from division a so now up till these first three examples we were either displaying all the columns or some specific columns this time I want to filter results based on division. So the records that I want to display which are nothing but for student of division A. So first one ABC then three XYZ and four RST. These are the only three records that we want to display. For filtering records we use a where clause that we specify a condition. So whichever records matches that condition will be only returned in a select clause. So we'll see how do we write the query for it. Select star from student where we have div is equals to a. Since a or division is a character, so we have to give it in a single quotes. So I'll execute this. Yes, we get only three records that is for roll number one, three and four, which all have division as A. So whenever we write where clause, actually what happens is this query searches for this where clause in each and every record. So each record is tested under this condition. So whichever record passes this condition will be only displayed. So we'll have the number one that is passed. Then whichever has record has division as B will get filtered because it does not satisfy the condition. Now the conditions need not be only one single condition. We can have multiple conditions. 
that is our next example get the details of students from division a having age as 11 so we have total three records who belong to division a but there is only one record having age 11 that is 3 xyz so we have to write a query in such a way that what we get is only third record that means we have condition on two columns first on division a and on age so we have multiple conditions here so we'll write the query as select star from student where div is equals to a and and is a keyword that we used in a where clause so it checks for both the conditions and if both the conditions satisfied then only the record is returned so where division a division is equals to a and age is equals to 11 age is a numeric field so we do not specify it in a semicolon sorry single quotes semicolon so what we get is yes the only record roll number three so similarly if we get and similarly we have a clause as or so each example or each record will be tested under these two conditions and if any one of these conditions satisfies then the record will be returned so for division a yes satisfied so first abc should be returned second will be filtered third will be returned fourth will be again returned and fifth this time also will be returned because it has age as 11 let's test it yes we get all three from division a and last one from division b which has age as 11 so if any one of the condition satisfies the record is returned next example get the details of students in the age group of 8 to 12 both inclusive that means the age has to be greater than or equal to 8 and it has to be less than or equal to 12 so we have two conditions over here first it has to be greater than or equal to 8 second it has to be less than or equal to 12 so write the query as select star from student where age is greater than or equal to 8 and age is less than or equal to 12 yes so these records have age greater than or equal to 8 and 12 now the same query can be written in another manner that is select star from student where age between 8 and it essentially does is it checks for age between 8 and 12 so syntax for this in a where clause we write a column name then between and after between we write a minimum value then the keyword add and and then the maximum value so syntax goes as where column name then keyword between then what we have is mean well and max well we have already seen the result of this query we'll again check it yes we get the same result we'll go for the next question it is number seven get details of students abc and xyz so this time i want to display the details of students abc and xyz that is record number one and record number three so write the query select star from student where s name is equals to abc and s name is equals to xyz it should return us two records that is one and three oh we don't get any records so what this query actually does is it checks for the condition s name is equals to abc and s name is equals to xyz 
now since we have specified and in a clause where clause so what it will essentially check is for each example for each record s name has to be equal to abc and is equals to xyz so it is never possible that one value will be equivalent to two values that is one record will not simultaneously have abc as well as xyz so whenever we have condition whether it is and condition on same column then instead of and we should use or so where s name is equals to abc or s name is equals to xyz then these records will be displayed yes it gets displayed next question get details of abc rst and xyz again in a similar manner so we'll have where s name is equals to abc or s name is equals to xyz or s name is equals to rst so we get three records for abc xyz and rst so when the list of values keeps on increasing whether it is abc rst xyz then again pqr which are values are there so then we use multiple all st or statements there is another keyword available in sql that is used in place of multiple or and that keyword is in so we'll write query using that select star from student where s name in then we just specify list of values that is abc comma xyz comma rst so where column name in list of comma separated values is as good as where s name is equals to abc or s name is equals to xyz or s name is equals to rst so these two queries will always return a same result let's check this yes we get the same result in the next tutorial we'll continue with some more sql examples of select statements until then happy learning